What's up you guys? Welcome to my kitchen and my channel. <laughs> um, oh, hello. Let's pull some cards. Let's read some energy. Mm -hmm. Ancestor lies white light. What is the message? Justice card here. Also got the ten and the wand, ten of wands in the reverse position. I'm hearing this song by Wave. Uh, it's a K-pop group called Kick Back. You gotta kick, 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 get back. You know we did, 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 did that. I'm pretty sure that that's the lyrics. So, oh wow, okay, this is cool. Um, Somebody is releasing some sort of a burden from their lives. And this is going to lead to a lot of emotional fulfillment, okay? <clears throat> um, there's Somebody is spreading rumors or lies or somebody is just like, yeah, just speaks. I'm hearing speaks myths, mistruths. <laughs> like somebody doesn't want to admit that they're a liar. They just want to like just call it a mistruth or something okay the kids are playing outside i don't know if you guys can hear it it's pretty fucking loud but okay let's um let's pull some more cards let me just get a little sip i just had lunch i just had sweet potato and thai soup it was delicious and this is like my favorite drink you guys this ginger beer it's so good by remedy you should totally try it all right now it's empty what else spirit answers to the highest light <laughs> Yo, something is happening, okay? Um, you have released something. You've woken up out of an illusion. I just heard that. That's what I literally heard. You woke up out of an illusion. Um, letting go of small thoughts. Uh, seeing yourself in an authentic light is helping you to see yourself succeeding. Okay. What else? Spirit answers to high sweat light. No need to worry. I just heard that. No need to worry. It's like, okay. Queen of the outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be. In love. You're falling in love with yourself. Hell yes. That's beautiful. All right. Something, you're, you're accepting yourself. I love this. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. Okay, maybe you were somebody who um, took things way too seriously, I'm actually hearing. Like, you took things too seriously, and I think it was because somebody just wasn't happy. Flow, find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. You guys remember that all of my readings are general readings too. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Like these, these oracle cards that I'm pulling, like one may resonate with you, one may resonate with somebody else. But the entire story may resonate with you too. And none of it, you know, like none of the reading might resonate with you. And it just might be interesting to you. So um, on that note, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't let pride get in your way. What the fuck are you proud of? You should be proud of everything about you. But yeah, don't ever let pride get in the way. That definitely is like... A relationship killer as I pull give your relationship a chance work on your partnership hmm dance move your body to music dance to the rhythm of life manifest your dreams through dance maybe somebody needs some sacral chakra work which is interesting because I'm wearing the color orange that resonates with the sacral chakra so I feel like maybe you guys should start wearing orange a little bit more um no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Yes, I feel like you're you're not looking for uh, validation from outside sources anymore. So it's like somebody is really, really like glowing up. Marriage, damn, holy cow, okay. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded celebrating wedded bliss. The fae. I think they like they call it the fae. But um, trust, uh, leap into the unknown, have faith, and move forward. Believe that you will fly. 
I hope this is making sense to any of you, all of you, some of you. Mm -hmm. At the center of everything, there is light, and I am that light. You're very close to achieving your goal, which landed on don't let pride get in your way. Why would pride get in your way? Pride, pride. Maybe it's like somebody had an idea of where they were supposed to go, or I'm actually hearing somebody else had an idea. Somebody who was not you had an idea of where you were supposed to go. Somebody made you uh, have this sense of, like, I feel like you're a very humble person, but somebody else made you feel proud of things that you should not be proud of. That's, I hope that makes sense. Somebody made you feel proud of things you would not otherwise be proud of if you were yourself. It's like somebody, okay, this is, all right, let's pull some more tarot cards. I will, mm. There might be a narcissistic parent involved. We've got the world card here, too. So this is the end of a cycle. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're going to be finding financial stability. Um, three of coins. Four of coins. Um, but it's like there could be somebody's parent who was making you... It's like who wouldn't let you be authentic and was making you have to be... Um, like so you don't you didn't even know what it was that you liked or what resonated with your soul. So it's like somebody's figuring out what resonates with their soul now, okay? Um what else for anything else? Anything else? And sisters of the highest white light, what is the message? Please. Yeah, you may have cut somebody off. You may have set some boundaries with somebody here the queen of swords here so the queen of swords does not put up with shit with the emperor in the reverse position with a narcissist it could be a parent it could be male or female right cards are not gender specific we've also got wow four of wands i do feel like somebody is going to be reuniting with somebody from the past um or if you are in a relationship standing up to this person and, and or um why did i say that it's so random um but it's like uh, trusting what it is that you love, trusting your inner voice, what I'm hearing, is going to help you, uh, well, living in your authenticity is going to help you to be able to live in your authenticity with other people, okay? So that's just what it is. It's like, so if you want to be in a relationship that's authentic, you have to be authentic, right? And so if we've been trained to, to not be who we really are well that's not gonna work well with a relationship right oh boy we got a lot of cards that just fell out one minute just a second guys oh okay there we go i'm back okay mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i feel like whoever you are you're very aware of yourself now i feel like you are not you are not feeling insecure anymore too it's like maybe you're like on top of the world too and it's like don't forget about the little people who like helped you get where you're going i don't know but you know it's like when we have this sense of empowerment oh if there's somebody who you have to like stand up to it's like maybe okay i get that okay it's like if there's somebody from like your family or something that you need to stand up to or stick up for yourself for make sure that you're not taking that and projecting that onto your relationship i mean yeah, I mean, if you have to stand up to somebody or or future relationships or your current relationship, whatever it is, but just make sure that you're not taking whatever it is that you are having to do with somebody else. You're not taking that energy and, and putting it on, you know, other, putting it in other areas that, that are not necessarily, that do not necessarily need those types of boundaries, so to speak. If that makes any sense, I don't know how to, else to explain it. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say like, don't set boundaries with your significant other or a future significant other or you know what I mean but but it's just like make sure that you're very cognizant of who and how you are setting boundaries um, who and how well who you are who you are setting boundaries with and why okay because honestly yeah I mean there's a there's a there's a thousand rabbit holes that I could go down with that but um, let's pull we're just kind of like rotating back and forth yeah justice
It's like maybe sticking up for yourself or something like that is, um, cause I feel like somebody has a, like a wounded inner child energy, um, with this three of swords here. It's like, uh, whoever you need to stand up to, don't feel <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just make sure that you're compartmentalizing your energy. Okay. Yep. There, there is a third party. If you are in a relationship, there is a third party that is fucking with this relationship, all right? That's not going to keep happening. Something is happening here. Um, take some time for self-reflection, too, you guys. Make sure that you're taking time to self-reflect. Anything else, Spirit? Hmm. Oh, my God. Where did my card go? Okay, here it is. Okay. Ace of Wands. I feel like um, you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads and uh, feeling very inspired as well. It's like, make sure that you're grounding that energy, okay? Um, I feel like this is the end of the reading. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. It was 11.11 when I just looked at the time clock, so that's pretty dope. Um, and I, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Success and victory, all right? And discipline. The chariot is a card of discipline as well, okay? Um, compartmentalizing your energy, all right? Sending you guys so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you would like a personal reading, feel free to contact me, 616-485-3479. You can just text me, say, hello, my name is, I'm inquiring about a reading. Otherwise, um, all of that information is in the description box below, okay? Sending you guys so much love. Thank you for being here. Until next time, bye.